Hello and welcome to this video on performing the upgrade of the BMC Remedy IT Service Management Suite. In this video we will understand the scope of the suite upgrade, look at the different upgrade methods you can use, understand the staging server implementation, and finally understand the end-to-end -end steps in the upgrade process. Suite upgrade is essentially the upgrade of all the components included in the BMC Remedy ITSM suite wherein the BMC Remedy AR system upgrade includes the upgrade of the BMC Remedy AR system server, BMC Remedy mid-tier, BMC Remedy AR system clients, and BMC Remedy service encryption security. The suite upgrade also includes the upgrade of BMC Atrium Core where you upgrade the BMC Atrium CMDB, BMC Atrium Web Services, and BMC Atrium Integrator. Together, the BMC Remedy AR system and BMC Atrium Core make the platform of the BMC Remedy ITSM suite. The application upgrade consists of BMC Remedy ITSM Core components, BMC Service Request Management, BMC Service Level Management, and BMC Remedy ITSM Process Designer. Now let's look at the different upgrade methods you can opt for. You can either perform an in-place upgrade or a parallel upgrade. During an in-place upgrade, you perform the entire upgrade on the production server. Your production environment is down during the entire upgrade process. Even though the in-place upgrade takes less time in comparison to the parallel upgrade method, this method is not recommended if you have to adjust or retain your customizations and if you are upgrading from a version earlier than 7.6.04. BMC recommends that you use the parallel upgrade method when you want to upgrade the entire suite. In a parallel upgrade, you perform the upgrade on a staging server, which then becomes your new production server. Due to this, the downtime is limited only to the last phase of the upgrade, where you initiate the cutover. Parallel upgrade is ideal if you want to adjust and retain your customizations. Also, if you are upgrading from a version earlier than 7.6.04, you must perform the parallel upgrade. To perform a parallel upgrade, it is important to understand how a staging environment is built. You can prepare a staging server by using the accelerated or the duplicated method. In the accelerated method, you prepare the staging server by creating a copy of the production server database in the staging environment. That's why this method is also called a database only upgrade. You can use this method if you are upgrading all of the products installed on your server and if you do not have BMC Service Impact Manager, Integration for BMC Remedy Service Desk, or BMC Proactive Net Performance Management installed on your production system. After preparing the staging server, to upgrade the components to the latest version you must run the installer in the install mode. To create a duplicated staging server, you must create an exact duplicate of your production server. You must also include any other applications that you have on your production server, such as BMC Service Impact Manager, Integration for BMC Remedy Service Desk, or BMC Proactive Net Performance Management before starting the upgrade. If you set up the staging server in this way, you can test your system after each upgrade step because you have a working system at the end of each stage. After preparing the staging server, to upgrade the components to the latest version, you must run the installer in the upgrade mode. Typically, a staging environment is comprised of a staging development server, staging QA server, and the staging production server. You must perform your upgrade on the staging development server while conducting the testing on the staging QA server. Finally, you must go live with your staging production server. You must plan for each of these while preparing your upgrade strategy. Now let's look at the end-to-end -end steps of the parallel upgrade process for the BMC Remedy ITSM suite. The first stage is to prepare for the upgrade. At this stage, you must review the system requirements, download the installation files, obtain the BMC Remedy license keys, prepare your database, prepare the base platform, 
perform the pre-upgrade checks and configuration checks, and complete the planning spreadsheet. In the second stage, you prepare your staging server using the accelerated or the duplicated method. At this stage, you must also decide your staging development server, staging QA server, and staging production server. In the third stage, suspend all administrative operations on the primary server until the upgrade is complete. Do not create or modify any objects including forms, workflow, fields, classes, federation sources, contracts, agreements, and so on. You must not perform any such activities on the primary server until you reach the Go Live stage. For detailed information about the restrictions, refer to the product documentation. In the fourth stage, perform a backup of the database in the production environment. You will need to restore this backup in the staging environment. After the backup is complete, perform the source server related adjustments. Leave the configurations as they are until you complete the Delta data migration. You must revert these changes during the Go Live stage. In the fifth stage, restore the production database in the staging environment. Steps for restoring the database are different for the accelerated staging server and the duplicated staging server. After you restore the database, complete the destination server adjustments. Leave the configurations as they are until you complete the Delta data migration. You must revert these changes during the Go Live stage. Stage 6 applies only if you are upgrading from a version earlier than 7.6.04. In this stage, you must create overlays to preserve your customizations. You can create overlays using the BPCU utility, wherein you also need to reference a server for comparing your customizations. You must first install the BMC Remedy AR system, then create overlays, and then upgrade the other components. After you complete this stage, proceed to the stage in which you restore the staging database on all the other databases in the staging environment. In Stage 7, upgrade the platform components. Ensure that you follow the sequence provided in the product documentation. In Stage 8, upgrade the application components. Ensure that you follow the sequence provided in the product documentation. In Stage 9, restore the upgraded database on all the other staging servers in the environment. For example, if you have performed the upgrade in the staging development server, you must restore the upgraded database on the staging QA and staging production. This activity ensures that all your staging environments are at the same level for you to proceed with post-upgrade procedures and Delta data migration. In Stage 10, complete the post-upgrade activities, such as reconciling and rebuilding customizations, fixing invalid field mappings in join forms, rebuilding join forms that were deleted before an upgrade, performing feature and functionality validation and performance testing, and taking a backup. Refer to the product documentation for detailed list of activities. In Stage 11, upgrade the secondary servers. It is recommended that you use the copy of the upgraded primary BMC Remedy AR system server and BMC Remedy mid-tier to create the secondary servers. However, if you want, use the installers to upgrade the secondary. During upgrade, you must point the secondary server to the new production database. Stage 12 is when you must perform the Delta data migration for the first time. You can run the Delta data migration tool one time or multiple times. BMC recommends that you run the tool at least twice before you start your production outage and again after the production outage begins. Ensure that you complete the post-migration activities before you proceed with the next step. In Stage 13, perform the user acceptance testing. After you complete the testing and apply all the fixes, you must create a UAT verified clean backup. After the upgrade is validated on the staging server, Restore the system to UAT Verified Clean Backup. This ensures that any testing data used during the validation is removed and that the staging server is in a clean state for the final Delta data migration. In Stage 14, the actual downtime begins. In this stage, 
you need to put your production URL under maintenance mode and perform the cutover activities. In stage 15, perform the final Delta data migration. Stage 16 is the final stage where you go live. Perform the go live activities and remove the production URLs from maintenance mode. And now, in case you are planning to perform an in-place upgrade of your BMC Remedy ITSM suite, you must first complete all the preparation tasks. In the second stage, suspend all administrative operations on the primary server and do not create or modify any objects until the upgrade is complete. In the third stage, put your production URL under maintenance mode and freeze the user activity. In the fourth stage, perform a backup of the database in the production environment. After the backup is complete, perform the source server related adjustments. You must revert these changes during the go live stage. In the fifth stage, upgrade the platform components. Ensure that you follow the sequence provided in the product documentation. In the sixth stage, upgrade the application components. Ensure that you follow the sequence provided in the product documentation. In stage seven, complete the post upgrade activities. In stage eight, upgrade the secondary servers. It is recommended that you use the copy of the upgraded primary BMC Remedy AR system server and BMC Remedy mid-tier to create the secondary servers. However, if you want, use the installers to upgrade the secondary. Stage 9 is the final stage where you go live. Perform the Go Live activities and remove the production URL from the maintenance mode. For detailed instructions on each stage and the suite upgrade process, refer to the product documentation. We hope you found this video useful to understand the BMC Remedy ITSM suite upgrade process. Thank you for watching.